this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage I feel like Ronnie beef with Rock is that she started messing with the ops after DEF CON went down. Now, we all know that Ronnie don't like snitches, so if Rock would have snitched on DEF CON, I believe it would have been came out and Ronnie would have been tried to kill Rock. Remember, Ronnie was showing restraint with Rock. He wanted to get rid of her for business purposes. He didn't have any personal vendetta against her. So just like Ghost was Bree's little homie, just like Kanan was Bree's little homie, Ronnie was DEFCON little homie. So when DEFCON went away, he split the land between Ronnie and he split the land between High Post. At some point, High Post became an op to Ronnie. Now, in my opinion, it's a possibility that DEFCON and High Post could have already been ops. But a lot of y'all believe that they all ran together. So let's just say that's true. Well, Ronnie could have felt like, well, Defcon, you gave him half of this, but he ain't built like I'm built. Or you gave him half of this, and he ain't really supposed to have half of this. Or Ronnie could have been cool with the fact that they both had half of it. But then Ronnie got mad at High Post once High Post split sides and started messing with Rock. And you know, some guys, they be upset. Like, man, how you gonna mess with bro woman after bro go in? So... Even though it don't have anything to do with Ronnie, Ronnie will take it upon himself to try to get at people and hate on people. Now, was High Post snitching? I don't really believe that High Post was snitching, but it also don't give me anything that show Rock ever gave Howard any credible information. Now, maybe in season four, we'll find out more about Rock and Detective Howard relationship because... Um, remember, I pointed out to y'all in one of my videos that Rock left hand, right hand, I'm sorry, touched the door uh, and she didn't have a glove on. So maybe they find a fingerprint there. But guess what? That's a warehouse. Rock could have came in and out of there at any time during any day to meet Detective Howard. Now, another thing that I just thought about that could be an alibi for Rock. Rock could say, hey, I was his CI. I was meeting up with him about some confidential information. We met up there a few times before. Um, we met up there earlier in the week, but I didn't speak to him since then. And the detectives and the feds can ask him, well, if y'all met up there, what did y'all meet about and what did he tell you? And then literally, man, I just figured out how Rock going to get out of this. Rock could say, well, he told me he was meeting up with Ronnie about a lead, but I don't know what the lead was about. And boom, there you go. Now, since they already think Detective Howard is dirty, Detective Howard go down um as just a dirty cop. He probably even end up going down as somebody who killed Detective Burke. I can possibly see Rock running with that narrative of, man, I think uh, Ronnie killed Detective Burke for Howard, or she can just say Howard killed Detective Burke and Ronnie knew. Now, how would Rock be able to vouch and say she knew this? Um, she would be able to vouch and say she knew this because she used to mess with Unique. And now everybody think Unique is dead. So a dead man tell no tale. So it's no way to go corroborate her story with Ronnie. You can't corroborate her story with Howard. You can't corroborate her story with Unique. So um, I think the feds will think, well, this is a com convenience for you that everybody that you said was your alibi is dead, but we have nothing on you. And then you got to remember, Rock got one of the top of the top, top, tippity, top, top lawyers. So she going to wiggle her way right up out of this. Now, I know this video was supposed to start it off as something else. Um, but now I much rather talk about how uh, Detective Howard and Rock situation will unfold. Uh, it's a lot of other things. Then we have to remember that Marvin was there. We have to also remember that Kanan was there. Now, we know Kanan not going to talk and we know Marvin not going to talk. But also another theory that if it get too hot, Marvin may sacrifice himself for the betterment of the family. Marvin used to be the kingpin. He used to be the lead guy. He ended up going to jail. He say he was set up. It's a strong possibility he was set up. 
It was a possibility he was set up by Rock, but it was also a possibility that he could have been set up by Ronnie. He could have been set up by that dirty cop too. We didn't even put that into equation. The same dirty cop that um, was the reason Ronnie got released from jail could be the same cop who set up Marvin to go to jail. A lot of people are leaning towards saying Rock is the one who sent Marvin to jail. She had the most to gain from it, and that's true. Like I say, hopefully we find out more about this storyline in season four. But to me, it only feels like she was only using Detective Howard. It felt like Detective Howard was doing more for Rock than she was doing for him. It felt like Detective Howard was being manipulated as so many women in the power universe do in order to get their way. The first thing I want to understand, too, is I hope they explore how did Rock actually start working for Detective Howard? Did she get caught with some work? Um, did somebody she loved get killed and then he ran up on her? Like, um, what are the possibilities of this and how did this come about? Did somebody in her family get killed or hurt and she witnessed it and they ended up going to her and she didn't want to talk. But then maybe Detective Howard went back to her behind her back, kind of like Detective Howard was going to Canaan behind Rock back. And maybe that was why Rock was so upset at Detective Howard because she remember how he went around behind her parents back and talked to her and he ended up getting her into all type of trouble. And although she didn't get in direct trouble, you know, anytime you snitching or cooperated or um, in, associated, in association with police directly in a wild capacity and you in the streets, that's a no-no. So she understand and we've heard us say a bunch of times, like Kanan can't know that that's his father because then he'll become a target for the streets. How do you guys think that Rock will wiggle out of this? Or do you think that this is a good theory that I came up with? The fact that Rock will end up saying, hey, me and Detective Howard has met there before. He was supposed to meet up with Ronnie, but that's all I know. And how did I know this? Because Unique is the one who told me because me and Unique was dating. And actually, I just thought about it. To actually add an alibi to the situation, Rock can say, if you don't believe me, you can ask his baby mama, Pranissa. She came over to my house one night to confront me about us being together. So it's a lot of different ways this can play out. The actual video that I was planning to do, um, Rock was messing with Defcon Ops. I'm going to get to that again. I'll probably upload that one after this. But as I started to flow, this came to my mind. Now, if you're on Facebook, go join the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Group. If you're on Instagram, I'm there at F-A-I-R-P-L-A-Y underscore 2333. That's at Fairplay underscore 2333. And... If you on Twitter, man, because I need to get this Twitter busting. Y'all are going to help me be able to get this Twitter moving a little better. And when the uh, show start back, I'll be live tweeting with y'all. And my Twitter is called Power and Cinema. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now. Written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.